What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final final little passes at this is a dead meat. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Dead Meat After Show for Chucky Season 2. Today, we're talking about Episode 7, going to the chapel, but nobody's getting married. No one's getting married. They're getting exercised. They're getting yeah. blown up. Oh, shit, yeah. Today, we're talking to uh, two of the actors, uh, including one that got blown up, Devin Sawa and Zachary Taylor. Hey, man, how's it going? Zachary hey, guys. Zachary, Zachary Taylor. Taylor. Zachary Taylor was a former president, sir. Oh, you're right. I have presidents <laughs> on my mind. You're talking about wild America. <laughs> Hey, you That's know where we were going with that. You know why I'm actually thankful for that because I'm studying U.S. history right now. So thank you for reminding me. There about you go, that. man. Zachary so. Taylor died in office uh, and was succeeded by I think Millard Fillmore. Yeah, look at this bar tri bar trivia champ here. This Canadian is impressed. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. right. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to talk to you. By the way, I feel like this is a very Devin Sawa positive zone on this podcast uh, that we Aww, do. We yeah. we reviewed Hunter Hunter. We oh, yeah, did. Hunter, oh, Hunter. Yes. Uh, we did the fanatic. The, we did. We did oh. review the fanatic. We're huge. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you hate it or love it because it's there's no in between. It's, no one's kind of like. Eh. Honestly, I think we were in between. I think our I think okay. like our brains just kind of malfunctioned a little bit watching it. It's just so bizarre. And also, here's the thing though. James and I are huge Limp Bizkit fans. Like, yeah. not yeah. unironically, we love Limp Bizkit. This year, we saw him in Vegas. It was one of the best concerts, man. So you know that line that I say um, in the yes. car? Uh, I'm a big, yes, of yeah. course you know the line. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows that. <laughs> you like a little Limp Bizkit? Sure. You like a little Bizkit? Yeah. Yeah? So that was a, we were just shooting and I improvised that line. <laughs> no way. And it wasn't in Fred Durst's cut. He didn't put it in his cut. And it went, and this producer from overseas bought the movie and inserted it back in the, into the movie. Oh my God. And I haven't spoken to Fred Durst about it. He didn't write that in, because he wrote the script. He didn't write it in. Yeah, he yeah. Know I, didn't say it. I said it, he laughed, and he's like, ah, oh, okay, good, great, ah, very funny. We moved on, <laughs> and it made the movie. That's so funny. That is one of the lines that, like, yeah, stood that out remember, like we remember. Yeah. <laughs> That said, everybody does like a little Limp Bizkit. Hey, a anyone who hears that Mission Impossible song can't deny it. Dude. Freaking bass, of course. Man. Yeah. Of course. It's like one of the greatest, <laughs> his, the Limp Bizkit music is some of the greatest gym music ever created. Yes, yeah, it if is. You're like, you're like a meathead trying to get gains, bro. Mm -hmm. Right. Dude, literally me three times a week putting on that new right? metal Spotify playlist. There you go. <laughs> and you know what? Fred brings that kind of um, energy to set too. Like it's like he's got that rolling, roll, you know, he's got that kind of, you know what I mean? And, and um, Travolta didn't want to break character the whole time. It was wild. <laughs> and and tw talk to me about it in like 10 years and I'll tell you all. I can't yeah. wait for the tell-all <laughs> memoir about it. But you know what? It was. A, I love those two guys and it was a great experience at the end of the day. Yeah. 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 I feel like that was when you were starting to come back and like get a few more roles and everything. Yeah. Oh my God. We're in like a Devon Renaissance. Devon Renaissance? Devon <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They, so the, yeah, I did a movie with Travolta that no one saw about Electrical Line and so he brought me onto that movie but yeah that was the beginning of when things started to to, to get going again i was about to say rolling 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 roll, roll, roll <laughs> things started rolling 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 <laughs> dude we played that at our wedding earlier this year and mm -hmm. i fucking like wrapped a verse because mm -hmm. i love it the backstory was like we had a, our friend's wedding uh right before covid and we asked the dj to play rolling and he just straight up was like no, no. <laughs> and so i had our dj announce like they got denied rolling at their friend's uh, <laughs> wedding a few years ago, but now it's their wedding, so they can play it. And I, yeah, it that's fun. amazing. It was awesome. Did the whole there was like a mosh pit in the. On oh the floor. yeah, yeah, it was great. I love it. You guys are filming in Canada, right, for Chucky? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. it nice to be back in the the homeland? I I'm from Vancouver, so and I live in Los Angeles, so it doesn't it didn't really. Uh... Oh, it's yeah, the opposite coast anyway. Yeah, but I'm a big Blue Jays fan, so I I, I got to see. A lot of games. Me and Devin were supposed to see a Jays game together, but with COVID, it they shut it down. Didn't end they up happening. It, yeah, we weren't but... allowed to go. I went anyways, but all the kids were like, "We kind of listened to the rules." <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go. I wanted to go. I was pressured into not going. I feel like they get less leeway than you, Devin. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like an on-set teacher slash uh, guardian slash gatekeeper. Yeah. Slash babysitter. Yeah, because cool. how old are you, Zach? Well, I'm 16, so technically until I'm 18, I have to have a like onset teacher 
or like a guardian, you know, mm-hmm. they kind of do all of it. But yeah, that's actually, I just took the chess piece. So um, if I pass, hopefully I do, then I don't have to have a studio teacher. Oh, cool. oh, okay. Devin, that must be, I mean, you were a kid actor. Did you have the same experience going through the, the tutoring and, and all that? Yeah, it was, I'm, I'm, pro- I'm pretty sure the, the rules were a little less tight back when I was doing it. Sure. But um, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, for me, it was no fun. You know, you get one teacher staring at you the whole time. You can't, you know, you don't yeah. have anybody. There's no, it's, it's, it wasn't fun. Yeah. There's no like class discussion or anything. It's just no, kind no of like, here's this stuff you got to learn. Yeah. It's, like that. it's, it's just fun. you and the teacher too. And I remember yeah. it would be like, I definitely would be trying to say hi to me. I actually probably shouldn't tell that story. <laughs> uh, I got, I got in trouble quite frequently for, for, distracting the kids. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> Listen, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up, it's going to come out in somebody's book in 10 years. Well, it's got to be something that you all have kind of a bond over because it's such a specific life experience to have been a, an, you know, a young actor and that's that's got to be something you've bonded over right well yeah it's i've told donna several times it's it's a, it's one of the i've never dealt with it before but one of the greatest things about doing chucky is seeing these young actors and and watching them as artists and watching them grow as artists and watching them learn like uh bjorven has never even he, this is his first big kind of gig and so he's he's like a kid in the candy store sometimes and watching zach grow as an artist when, when he first started and to where he is today it's just it's uh, it reminds me of like because I was I was around their age when it went from this is just kind of a cool job to like oh my god this is an art and I'm a thespian and you know um, so it's it's really fun to to kind of watch their journeys yeah and it's got to be nice I would think you know for all of their parents to have someone like you who like you've been through something similar I I guess I would feel you know, better having an adult like that on set who is like, who actually kind of gets what it's, it's like. Even when it's Devin? Even when it's Devin, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, that's the uh, other part. <laughs> <laughs> they actually all watch Jennifer Killian act that it, way. It cancels <laughs> out is what happens. But um, I'm really thankful to have Devin on set because he's given me tons of good advice and, you know, it's easy to work with him. So yeah, anyway, that's my, that's my, complimenting Devin part of the interview. <laughs> yes. good, good, get that over with. <laughs> the entire cast, get, I mean, that's why the show works so well. We all get along so well. It's all, it's all, you know, we have fun. We know how to work. Everybody shows up with their lines memorized. They hit their marks. They do, it's, it's just, it's, we're all, we're all, uh, we're all in it. I realize that Zach, you, I, when I think of all the kind of main characters on the show, I think you've had scenes with everyone. I mean, you must have because you are the the main character. I'm realizing I don't think Devin has ever been in a scene with Jennifer. Oh no, they made out. Oh, oh no, 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 right. they made out. Yeah. They made out. Too. Well, yeah. How did? Was, how could I forget? Brief little scene, and that that was that making out part was not in the script. Oh, that, that was, was just it. you. That <laughs> she was just drawn Jennifer, to you. I, yeah, yeah, no, we were all standing there like. In the background, we didn't know what was going on. Don said cut, but he kept going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How could I forget that? What is wrong with Not me? the worst day. No, I was no, going to say we, not the worst day ever. Not the worst day at all. She's she's so much fun. Devin, when did you find out that you were being brought back for season two, even though both your characters in season one got killed? Don had mentioned it to me, like that it was a possibility that he does this a lot. Yeah. And he, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a proven thing that he has actors back. I don't think ever in this capacity. He did call me to tell me that they were bringing me back. They all agreed, whatever. And then it went radio silence for like, a month so i i was really worried because there's nothing in writing and i was really excited but i found out like two months before before i came back and uh and was so it's the most flattering thing ever because i i got the script in the beginning and th- i died i he, i knew right away we got all eight scripts we knew what was going on we knew the, the storyline and i died and so i was one and done and and uh, to be asked to come back is is extremely flattering. Yeah, I mean, finger, fingers crossed. We I think we'd really be pushing it, but if we get a fourth got... iteration of Devin, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I maybe. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you, you hey, it might happen. Yeah, maybe. We're hoping. I mean, at We're this hoping. point, I'd be disappointed if it didn't. Yeah. I, you're all, clearly all in on Chucky. Your timeline is is half yelling at Chucky's Twitter. <laughs> oh handle. my gosh, yeah, that just kind of <laughs> snowballed. I don't, I don't even remember how I. I started that. I feel like I remember it was when you were 
filming that first season? Because I think I was following you yeah. on Twitter and I was like, oh, Devin's in this well, new Chucky I'll thing. I'll tell you how it started. It started because I used to have this thing with Macaulay Culkin where we used to fight. Uh -huh. and, and Macaulay Culkin what? bought Devin's The Home Alone Kid? Yeah. And, we did this, <laughs> yeah. and like we did. We why why were you fighting with the Home Alone Kid? Wait, no, hold we're, on. We're, I want to ask about this. It was a fake fight. We were, we're actually good friends, but we did okay, the same okay. kind of thing. So I thought I'd. I'd uh, <laughs> I start that with Chucky last season. And then all of a sudden by season two, I got like a bunch of publicists and the people from the, they're all sending the world video, video. We're going to get this. And this like, it was like a, a thing. And I was like, okay, well, let's roll with it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who's running that Chucky Twitter account, but they're, they're, they're hilarious. Up, they're yeah. so good. Yeah, I, I met, I met the, uh, I met the Chucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's not what you'd expect. That's for sure. But, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, so you you mentioned a little bit ago that you got all eight scripts at once. Was that the case again for this season? Like you guys kind of know what's going to happen? We get all seven. Or all we, get, we get seven. He won't give out eight because oh. these are all the stuff kind of like wraps up and he doesn't want anybody to know. Maybe Zach thought eight. I don't know. He could, he could have eight. Uh -huh. but, but Zach, you did get up through seven. So you knew, for instance, that good Chucky would go bad at some point. The way that they were giving me the scripts, it was kind of slow. Kind of, but, but like, I don't know if it was a production thing, but we didn't end up getting them till later. But oh. um, Don was talking Oops. to me about- I got all um, seven. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Good for you, Devin. I've, yeah. Um, so basically I knew that, that there was gonna be good Chucky and something was gonna happen, but I don't think Don ever told me that he was gonna go bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was more of a surprise to me, and I guess that's good because it's a surprise to the character and probably everybody watching. Yeah, I never expected it to happen, um, but I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. You know, I mean, I guess I'm more on Devin's side of the argument, like Devin liked the character, mm -hmm. that there can't be a good Chucky because Chucky, Chucky. So when you were filming those scenes with good Chucky, you weren't sure if it was going to stick or not with the character, or did you kind of know anyway? The character believes that yeah the mm -hmm. character jake believes that just because good chucky kind of represents the relationship with gary mm -hmm. so um it's just because he's felt so bad that he's caused like all these terrible things that he wants to do it a different way he ends up befriending this good chucky because he wants to find some way where he doesn't you know hurt anybody good chucky's a weird because it's like the, the whole religious theme this season too i was saying that good chucky's kind of like this weird original sin thing where it's like is all man inherently evil are all chucky's inherently evil like <laughs> we're getting so theological i love it yeah there's just that that underlying theme mm -hmm. yeah 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 i think everybody watching that's why it makes it so suspenseful i guess is that you know there's a air of question or something i don't know yeah i don't know what the expression is for that we're all just kind of waiting to get our heart broken i think <laughs> yeah the internet fucking loves good chucky but the internet also yeah it's gonna be bad Nadine. man don is gonna get so much yeah i know oh man i know right don's just sitting next to a mailbox oh, waiting for all the hate mail to come <laughs> flowing in six um um what's your name dies too right nadine yeah, yeah. i know the internet's yeah. gonna everybody's gonna head. oh my god oh my god i didn't i was gonna say that but i didn't know about this one for you guys because yeah. i forgot which episode yeah i'm happened. very careful what i but, say because usually when we're doing interviews don's getting his dirty looks behind yeah. it. it's mm -hmm. always jennifer that's, that's <laughs> <Jennifer>. <laughs> no, they know jennifer. About. when we were when we were at comic-con for the new york comic-con yeah. i just saw don i was right next to him he was just like <laughs> Yeah, she spilled a big fact about episode eight at one point. Really? <laughs> oh shit! I was like, uh, I think I think it got buried though. So okay, I, yeah, I we like, and I was whispering to Don like, Don, wait, is this? Can I say this? Is this okay? Is this a spoiler? Is this? That, that's what I was whispering him about. But apparently, he was like, no. No, this is not allowed to be said yet. Yeah, I'm shocked he didn't sit himself next to Jennifer to be like, hey, stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sure he 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 didn't control the seating arrangement. Yeah. But definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that was, he well, speaking of Don, we were curious. Uh, I remember last season when we talked to you guys, you mentioned that Don sometimes gave you movie homework. I remember specifically he said uh, the movie Magic. 
Uh, he had Cape you guys Fear, I think. watch. Yeah, Cape Fear. Was Were there any other uh, film assignments this season? Because this season is so jam-packed with references. We got like Apocalypse Now and what else was Exorcist, like? Pet Cemetery yeah, kind Pet of. Pet Cemetery. I watched The Exorcist early on. That was one that uh, uh, Fury was is one of his favorite films that I watched. Yeah, I Fury. Like the, yeah, that was a good he one. loves Fury. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're kind of like a Father Karis a little bit this season, especially this episode with, with an exorcism. Yeah, we had a episode one. We had a real uh, uh, or episode two. My first episode, they had a, a guy that was that was supposed to sh- a, a priest that knew about exorcisms, but we had him removed by episode three because we just want to do our own thing. <laughs> it was kind of, <laughs> it was kind of like that guy stopped coming. Well, like to set like a, like a consultant of sorts or a consultant. Yeah. yeah there was a consultant. I think, I think there's a, a real big difference between uh, uh, movie exorcisms and like Hollywood exorcisms and what he was like, no, they don't do that. No, it was like, well, we're going to do it because it's <laughs> yeah. a little more theatrical. Yeah. He was actually, so the place we found him was an actual like, cathedral or like a yeah. church so i think we only got in there because the priest was actually a fan of the show Amazing. which is kind of ironic <laughs> i know but um i think that was i think don was telling me that and that was the guy the the, the he um, was there he was around for the first first yeah. ep- the episode that i was the, in so episode two yes episode and then he two. never came back <laughs> <laughs> he scared him yeah i think either he was scared off or he didn't want yeah. spoilers. Yeah. He's like, I, I love, love the show. Oh, you like? He's a fan of the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was so nice. He would show up, and he was like, all nice. Like, I, you wouldn't expect someone like that to be a fan of the show. Yeah. All throughout the season in these interviews, I've had various crew members tease that something big was going to happen in the chapel because that's an actual chapel, like you were saying, that they were filmed there, uh, that you guys yeah. filmed in. And I'm assuming it's your explosion, Devin, uh. that they were like something happens that we can't believe we got away with. I think it's it's the whole sequence. It's it's the first it's it's the A team finally all being together in one room. Like everybody the first time I'm with Fiona and Zach's like we're all we all there. It's like the it's like the um the Avengers all yeah. <laughs> in one spot and, and we're dealing with Chucky and and we got the exorcist, we got the explosion. It's you know it's the whole that whole sequence in that in that uh, chapel was I think what everybody's talk, talking about. Yeah. Yeah, because I was worried it was going to be something with, uh, what's the other nun's name? Oh, Not but... Sister Catherine, but Sister, is it Ruth? Sister Ruth, yeah. 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 I was worried yeah. it was going to be something sexual between her and Buff Chucky. I was worried. Because she was like I washing his feet. And I was like, is she going to have sex with this doll in this chapel? So it didn't go there. But like with Don, you oh, never God. know. You that never know. Happened. That would have been horrible. But Devin dying? We're good with that. <laughs> We've seen it twice before, man. It's fine. <laughs> have you seen an, an edited sequence of that explosion? Because it is so they they replay it like five times. They really get their money's worth yeah. out of this. Sure, yeah. How many cameras were set up for that explosion? Oh, my God. There are so many. <laughs> Don, there are so got, many cameras. I got a text from Don because I had gone by that. They'd shot that after the, mm. the actual explosion. And I got a text from Don like four in the morning with a video and he was so excited about blowing me up. And look how great it is. And I'm keeping the head. <laughs> like, All right. Thanks, Don. Dude, the same thing just happened to me. I did a music video with Ice Nine Kills. It hasn't come out yet, but I got my, my oh, head I cast. guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're great, yeah, man. Spencer was at our I, wedding. I, yeah, Spencer's oh, one cool. of our best friends. We yeah, love him. Oh, it's oh, great. That's amazing. But I got my, light, uh, my head cast for the video and then I shot all day. And then by the time it was time to blow up the head, I was like, I got to get out of here. I'm tired. So, but I got a video from Spencer of my head. It looks like a snuff. It's just this creepy cell phone video of (laughs) your head blowing up. It's it's really weird. It's real fucked up. (laughs) I'm assuming you also had to get a life cast for that death. Yeah. Yeah. And then your, your mouth is open during it. Did you have to have your mouth open for the life cast? They, they, yeah, they, they kind of put this thing in, but I also had to like hold my face and I'm like, I do all these camera things and, and they kind of molded it. Um, okay. And then when I actual when I actually I try to remember the and then they would digitally move it together I think yeah that's right yeah because you do give like a little face it's like <laughs> I don't know how to... yeah it's like <laughs> yeah and then they blow it up in the air and... and then you got to be Chucky for like two seconds we were dying we wanted more of it yeah it was just this brief moment did where you Chucky ask Fiona for tips you. on how to play Chucky <laughs> I was that, that's I, I was very nervous doing it in front of Fiona mm-hmm. I was very nervous <laughs> she's so good um, at it. yeah but it's kind of like it, it, you know Chucky Don explained that Chucky kind of lives through other people so it won't be the same as Fiona's like Mm. he's using your throat he's using your body so it's kind of like less trying to be um Brad Dorif but being Chucky through your own 
body. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess it helps too. We've already introduced all these other versions of Chucky. So even within the dolls, you can yeah, see Marlon there's Brando different. Chucky, yeah, there's yeah. a Marlon Brando Chucky running around. Yeah. There's, yeah. So they even yeah, Colonel, within the dolls. The Colonel. Mm-hmm. Zach, do you think you'd ever have to, to play Chucky? <laughs> Would you be up for the task? I, I hope so. But <laughs> watching Devin play it made me really scared. <laughs> that someday I'd have to do that. It'd be scary, yeah. I was like, how is he doing this? Because it, it was so cool, like watching it happen. Because he would, you know, all the different takes and stuff. I'm like, he was, it, he was so good at it, and that made me like so like nervous. I was like, okay, wait, do I have to do this one day? <laughs> I was like, Don, hold on, let's talk about this. There was a point where I was trying to make a meal out of it. Like it was, it's literally written in the script, like two eighths of a page. Like that, he becomes the priest and he blows up. But I wanted to like run around as Chucky and like do all this stuff and. They didn't let me. <laughs> it became too comedic. Sure. Just... Oh, yeah, too comedic and Chucky. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Actually, with your character, we did have a question. When you're doing the, the confessional, Devin, and yep. uh, Father Bryce mentions feeling different. Oh, yeah. Is, that, is he saying he's gay or we weren't sure yes. how to read that? Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you have to take it the way... I bl- I, uh, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. how that's I... That's the read we I, got from it, yeah. Yes. Well, then that's, that's the... Uh, that's what we were trying to do is let let the audience kind of decide for themselves. Yeah. That was your take on it. Throughout the whole season, he's been so conflicted with watching Jake and Devin and, and seeing them. And he can't be a priest and be a gay man at the same time. And, mm-hmm. and this is his chance to talk about it. Yeah. I, I kind of like that he doesn't just come right out and say it. Because I think the idea of someone in confessional where you're supposed to say whatever it is that you've you know done, like whatever your sin was, the fact that he still can't bring himself to just directly say it just tells you how conflicted he is and how you know how much he beats himself up over it it's yeah i think it's great we did do some takes where i did say it Mm -hmm. right where i said and it just felt right not saying it because sister ruth and i have a relationship that we've probably already spoken about it and um we wanted to let the audience take it for what they thought it was after you know you know after watching his journey Devin when it came to having a new character like even with the first season with your playing two different characters did you have to get into a different headspace with all these different characters did you is there anything that you focused on to play them as individuals how I got the the role initially in season one is I kind of you know actors do these additions and in the additions they have slates where they say their name and their height and yada 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 but instead of doing that I got into how I made these characters different. Mm -hmm. I talked about Logan being an alcoholic and he's kind of, you know, broken down and he's slumped over and and his brother is more, you know, he's he's successful and he walks with his head up. And and I I talked a lot about that on the on on the edition and and that Don loved it. And so in season two, we talked about um, Father Bryce and how everything's a pivot. Like every he just pivots into things, you know, he's he's it's a very pivot and, and it's just so much fun, you know, having these conversations. Don's a real artist, so he really likes to, you know, he wants to hear about it and talk about it and give his input. But we had different ways these guys moved and talked and looks and the glasses came on and the beard got dyed and the eye. And it just felt different, you know? And then, Zach, you're playing the same character, obviously. But I feel like season two, Jake goes through. I don't know. I, I feel like we see him go through more. And, like, you're doing awesome. I, yeah. I, I love yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, my, yeah. Incredible. The, and then the age you are, too. It's got to be so weird. I mean, I imagine if we went back and just watched season one, episode one, you would look probably really different. Bigger yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did change a lot since then. Do you ever go back and watch, like, the older episodes? Or do you tend to? I can't. To... I can't. <laughs> right? I, just, I can't. That's I fair. can't. It, it's so weird. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, with all the characters have a different art. Lexi's character has the drug abuse and, you know, Devin, he's mad at me. <laughs> There's more to that. Um, he, he's kind of more seeking revenge for his mother and stuff like that. You know, as I was, I, I was saying before with Jake, he's got all this guilt. He's just kind of dealing with that, especially with Gary. But, you know, he just feels responsible for everything that's been happening. I got to imagine the fan response to your character has, that's got to have been really, really cool. I, I feel like these characters, specifically you and, and, Devin Bjorkvin and like they've got to be so important to so many people I see it a lot you know fans talking about this series how much the characters mean to them yeah I remember I was it was actually the opening night of Horror Nights at Universal and I remember people coming up to me and they were saying the the show is like so cool because when I was growing up we didn't actually have these types of you know shows on the air I think it's really important for um, shows especially with people our age to show those types of problems. And, you know, the response has been amazing. And like seeing 
you know, the messages from people saying how much the show has helped them, how much they've identified with this. And it, it just makes my day like every single time. Yeah, you this is like I'm get, getting personal for a second. But you remind me so, so much of one of my best friends from high school who he was gay. And like, you know, this is like early 2000s. So and his family was really religious. You know, he had a really hard time with it. He passed away a few years ago. It just it's so cool watching the show. And it, I don't know, you just remind me so much of him. And I'm like, I wish he could have seen this. And it's honestly so sweet watching your character have this really beautiful relationship. And I don't know, it just it's it's brought me some some comfort. So I yeah, it's oh, amazing. Yeah. So it's really, really, really special. Like you should be so proud of yourself. Thank you. They're Zach's so a good gay. kid. They all seem like such good good kids they're great I, I actually joked with don mancini about how like by season two or three they're all going to be fighting over parking spots and you yeah. know like who's got the bigger trailer and uh, but they really have uh they've been great they're they're all just so good they bring such a an emotional weight to the show that i think would be it must be so hard because the tone of the show is so weird yeah but they pull it off yeah the tone is it, all over the place but it all fits yeah it's it so works it. Yeah. it works i remember doing episode uh one and two of last season and i was very grounded and this was like a, i was like this is a scorsese kind of tone and i was everything's real and then i saw and then i saw jennifer tilly stuff and i'm like oh shit am i doing this wrong <laughs> and like but it, it just kind of works it's like she's the she's the you know she sets the top and we all kind of find our groove in the middle and done you know but it's it's been a wild ride it's been so much fun i remember when we were watching that first episode like we knew you were in the show and then we see your character and then your your brother shows up and we're like, oh, we got two dead Two cool. So we got one to spare. Great. Yeah, I know. It, it does make it a lot better, um, especially because they're so good. It's easy to act with them because everybody's in the moment. Um, that actually reminded me of the scene that I have with Devin in season one where he's been drinking and that's where he gets electrocuted. That scene just worked so well because we were just both so in this and he's such an amazing actor that it was just it was easy for me to get into character but one yeah. of us was nominated for a saturn <laughs> <laughs> my boy's getting nominated for awards now oh yeah, yeah man yeah. that's awesome that's where he's going <laughs> that's the awesome. show got nominated the show got nominated show, as well got nom and show, jennifer did and jennifer mm -hmm. yes. and she won well deserved with jennifer i know man. like i'm so glad i got to present that i'm so glad <laughs> that's uh, so cool yeah i was so nervous doing that did you like have to rehearse or anything for for that there was nothing they gave us nothing to say what? so <laughs> I, I was with this girl that i had never met in my life <laughs> and i was like we were talking about things like yeah so what, what are we gonna say up here oh, and God. i was like yeah we can say like oh yeah we've known each other our whole life you know you know, I remember in kindergarten that one time in the sandbox, like, I don't know, we were like seeing what we were going to say up there. And, but there was just like, how are we going to transition that into, okay, here's the nominees. Yeah. But, I can't believe stuff wasn't written for you guys. There was nothing written. It was just Zach and Yvette talk. Wow. They, that <laughs> seems so dangerous. You could just, do, you could really ruin that yeah, whole dude, show. Yeah, you could if start you talking about chemtrails. Who knows? Yeah, man. right. Um, that was just a little nerve wracking, but, you know, I want to do it again. At least it was fun. Well, I'm sure season two will be nominated for all sorts of things. Yes. And then like, there's got to be a season three with how the ratings and everything is going and, and the popularity of it online. I'm sure you guys can't say you anything, know, yeah. even if you know. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know, but I would be very surprised if they did. Exactly. I be, yeah. I would be super surprised. Like it, it's doing so well and Chucky's so in the zeitgeist. I just saw him on my wrestling shows a couple of weeks oh ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I, right. I watch pro wrestling. So uh, he was yeah. on NXT doing his stuff. Yeah. I wonder where that came up. Like, the whole thing. I was like, the episode four was so crazy, but it was so amazing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like the four. whole thing with the, <laughs> with the wrestler coming in. Oh, yeah, with Liv. Did you guys get to meet Liv? Because uh, I know yeah. you weren't in yeah. the yeah, episode. She's yeah, she's so cool. She's amazing. It's so funny because I interviewed her on the channel a couple of years ago talking about what her favorite scary movie was, and it was Child's Play. Like, her love for Chucky is legit. Mm -hmm. So I was so happy for her when she got to be on the show. Yeah, we should we should have her back every season. Or or they should have us on, they should have us at WrestleMania. Hey, we're hey, going to we'll be, be there. We'll be there. We got seats for wrestlemania it's in la next year uh, devin did you ask for that shot of father bryce <laughs> stripping down and and changing for that that uh that torso shot there i did not i did not ask for that shot no don had a different scene written what happened was is, is the during the exorcism the wind starts going and the anyways it got written out and i was like oh okay cool 
And then, but just, we still have to have your shirt. Like, <laughs> I was like, all right. So he like wrote that Rambo style. Yeah. And he was really hoping to put George Michael, uh, fa- uh, uh, father figure during it, but he didn't, he didn't get, get it done, I suppose. But so you guys are embarrassing me now. Next question. Dude, literally like we, we came up to your table at, I think Son of Monster Son of Monster Palooza. 2018, 2019. It was right around when the we Fanatic We get up there and James is just like, what's your workout routine, man? You I look mean, great. You look great, man. I know. I literally said it to you. I was like, looking great, man. Hey, we Thank were, me and, me and Devin were working out. Yeah. Yeah. We were going um, to the gym for a while together. We were hitting yes. the gym. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. But then he moved on me. <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, he on. moves far. He moves too far to work out. He, he, he was my workout partner for like two weeks and then he failed. Oh uh, man. Not on the gym. Hey, he I still hey, I still use the I still use the exercises that you, that you showed me. What, what what are some of the what are some of the exercises you taught him, man? You know like you know the lat pull down machines? Yeah. Where you go like that? There was one where you, you like kind of stand back and you put your foot and you go like that and it works out your mid back and I'm gonna totally nerd out. No, oh, dude, I'm with you. I got a oh, no. first thing we did when we moved into this house was I turned two thirds of the garage into a gym. So yeah, that's what I want to do so bad. It's, it's so really good. nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then you also taught me this one where it was like a tricep exercise where you go like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like right with the cables at the bottom. Nice. And there's one where like you go like that and I kind of figure praying. Yeah. <laughs> you go like that. The, the Chucky. And See, I, I'm I, good I remember, for something. Hey, I remember I was doing that exercise and I was thinking like, oh man, I feel like people are going to think I'm practicing for some, like, I don't know, like, it's like the world record longest prayer. Yeah. <laughs> or something completely different. <laughs> there are preacher curls too. You can work those in, have a whole record hey, yep. built around it. I'm guessing you guys can't even hint towards what's to come in the finale. Cause like, we have no idea. This episode wraps up happen. and we're like, what the hell? All the dolls are apparently dead and Jennifer Tilly got blown up. Like, we don't know what the hell is left to, to cover in this final episode. It's my favorite episode I can't talk about okay <laughs> i'll say this it's something don really hasn't done before and wanted to do and does and it fits it's gonna make you smile it's gonna make you smile it's okay. it's uh it's in a it's in its own little world i swear if it's a musical episode because there's been rumors about musicals it's not like episode four where it's completely different it's still it's it's living in this other world that that chucky hasn't done yet and it's gonna be it's gonna fit oh i'm so curious well we can't wait we've really been enjoying this season and it was such a blast to talk to you guys Zach talking to you again and Devin finally getting to have this conversation absolutely loved it man yeah thank you both so much thank you guys so much it's <laughs> always super fun talking to you guys Hell yes. yeah let us know how you uh how you like episode eight. Oh, you'll yes. hear all about it for sure mm-hmm. yeah uh, we will let our opinions know <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> and yeah hopefully we can talk another time absolutely hopefully yeah, season of course. Three. exactly yeah well let's make it a tradition all right cool all right guys take it easy <laughs> have right. a good one bye. bye bye oh man thank you Devin and Zach for joining us for that awesome episode I hope a lot of the early conversation with, <laughs> with Devin and made it into the edit. Like it was a blessing in disguise that Zach was late because it was like, oh, just hanging out with Devin? Cool. All right. <laughs> the dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was so cool. I freaking love these. Uh, they're so fun. I just, every every time we interview someone from the show, I just, I end the interview. I just want to hug all of them. Right. They're all just so sweet and nice. And I hope the show just gets to air forever. We'll be back next week for the finale, which apparently is going to be its own thing i don't know its own thing we'll see yeah i'm super excited for it and we'll have uh at least don mancini back for that Mm -hmm. which finally we can ask the man making all these decisions what the hell is wrong with him (laughs) (laughs) he just blew up jennifer tilly what the fuck gosh all right well we'll see you next week everybody thanks a lot